Cataractcoach.com. The hashtag suture to stabilize an IOL using 10 o nylon suture to prevent optic prolapse and iris capture. Now, the patient is a young patient with Marfan syndrome, and the patient had a partial plane of vitrectomy and had a Yamane IOL already placed. And you can see it's nicely centered. It looks pretty good. The problem the patient's having is this young active patient sometimes is so active running around as young people do where that IOL optic becomes optic captured. It comes in front of the iris. So that is a problem. Then the patient has to be dilated in the clinic, put in a supine position, and hopefully the optic falls back. So our surgeon here says, you know, let me figure out a better way of doing this. Is there a way I can put in a hashtag suture? Now, this is a 10 nylon suture, so very small, maybe 10 polypropylene even. And so passing this suture here and pulling it out, there we go. Pulling it out, 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 there we go. Going to make like basically a hashtag. Now, you've seen a video before of the Masket Basket, as named by Sam Masket, which is placing these similar types of sutures under the Iowa optic. So when he's doing manipulations in the eye, he uses a, a temporary suture just to make sure things don't fall south. And then at the end of the case, he removes it. But in this case, this is being placed anterior to the optic. So you can see starting off here in the sclera, but then going just under the iris. So this is placed anteriorly to the optic. And you get these two sutures. It's basically be two loops, one going vertically, one going horizontally, and that will create essentially this hashtag. And that's going to really hold the IOL optic in good position. So it's going to prevent it from coming forwards. Now, I don't think this is going to have much of a visual effect, especially because it's not in the center of the pupil for the patient. It's out towards the periphery here. And again, it's a very fine, fine line. This is a 10 looks like polypropylene suture. And that'll be brought out the eye. Hey, let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, my teaching website. A lot of free material there. Such good material, in fact. The free book, the curriculum series, the Iowa Calc series, the Fickle Fundamental series, and the podcast every week. I have a brand new episode. You got to check out the podcast. Now, here the surgeon just bending that needle to get a little bit better access here and doing the same thing. Coming across here, you can see bringing that long suture out. That's that 10 O polypropylene looks like. And bringing that out here and now making a U-turn and passing it back the other way. Now, these knots are going to be then tied and then buried and rotated inside the eye. And then that should really give a good result to hold this lens in position for the patient. So very interesting case here. Now, are there other options? I mean, I suppose you could think of other options here, maybe reposition the Yamani lens. But the, the Yamani lens is actually in good position and has a good refractive outcome for the patient. Everything was pretty good about it, except when the child or the young person is doing all these acrobatic maneuvers as a young person sometimes does, that lens optic can prolapse forwards. Well, now you can see with the hashtag suture in place, it is going to be secure. You're not going to have that optic coming in front of the iris again. So you're going to solve your issue of iris uh, capture of the optic and you won't get that optic prolapsing anteriorly anymore. So a really nice result here. Again, I'm interested to hear some more follow-up from our guest surgeon here. But something I've never seen before. To me, this is a brand new technique. So I'm glad we could feature it here and show you guys, of course, on cataractcoach.com. And really, you got to check out the podcast. There's so much great material. And we talk to a new surgeon every week for about an hour. It's really just a great conversation of life pearls that you want to learn. Check it out. I promise you will love it.